Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. If you want to be a part of the chatterbox, the membership is $1.99 per month. Um, you do have to be at least 18 years old to join. Um, we do have exclusive live streams at least once a month in there. And sometimes I do uh, extra videos and I also like post in there like updates what I'm doing what I'm working on a uh, little bit of personal stuff sometime but anyway <laughs> I have baby Jaden here and Jaden is my little baldy boy <laughs> I had to finish rooting him so I was sitting here and I was trying to figure out like okay who's gonna get rooted next because I have so many bald babies right now um Two is halfway done <laughs> that I need to finish. Hopefully, I'll finish those this week. And then I have one, two, three. I have three other ones that need to be rooted after them. So I have about five heads right now. And soon will be six because I have one that I'm finishing up on the painting table. Um, so I usually try to root like the ones that's going to be sold first. And then my personal babies, I try to push them back because... They're not going anywhere, so I can root them at any given time. Um, Jaden, I know for a fact that I don't want to let him go. Like, I don't want to ever sell him. That's At least that's the way my mind is set up at this moment. So, I'm not in no particular rush, rush to get him rooted. Other than the fact that he has, like, a bunch of cute little outfits that he can't wear unless he has hair because... They're just not going to look cute with a hat. Um, like I had to put on this hat with him today and it's like summertime. So I don't really want to be putting him on a hat. Like I wouldn't take him out because he couldn't wear that hot hat <laughs> in this summer weather. People would be looking at me like I'm crazy. So there is that. Um, I don't know if like if you guys sometime when you get a new baby like. And you really, really like that new baby. Does it take away from some of your other babies? Like, do you ever have that one baby that you're like, you love so much. Oh, this is your number one. And then you get another baby and you're like, oh, I'm so in love with this baby. Like, and then all of a sudden your number one is not your number one anymore. Like, do you do that or do it just stay the same? Like, nothing really changes except for you're just excited about the, the new baby. Or do you like you know, eventually end up selling one of the older one that you're not as excited about. I ask that because sometimes I notice, like, if I get babies back to back, like, especially if they, they're close and, like, say, for instance, if I have, like, three box openings back to back, one of those babies I'm not going to connect with. I'm not going to really, like, like as much because the excitement of the other ones overpower them and I just don't pay it no mind and then I just feel like I don't need it. Um, and then sometimes like I'll paint babies and I'll really like it until I paint the next one. And then I'm like, oh no, I want to keep this one. And then I'll be like, oh, I'm going to let this one go. So that did kind of happen to me a little bit. It kind of shift a little bit with like the last baby I painted. I kind of like that baby more than I like one of my other babies, but I think I'm going to still keep them both. Um, they're very different. So, but yeah. Um, but then, when it comes to rooting, it's like, I want to skip. I want everybody to <laughs> sit and <laughs> wait for the get rooted and root the one. The one I'm, you know, the most excited about at the time. Like, this little peanut... I want to root her next, <laughs> but I don't know. Ah, oh, the lighting is so dark. Yeah, so I I really want to. Uh, gosh, what happened? The light just went. Boop. Let me see. I don't know if I could change this. Why? Why have you guys on here? There we go. It's still recording. Yay. 
Okay. So, yeah. So, I want to, um, I, I want to root her next, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm always, like, all over the place. I still have Vegas, but Vegas have to get work done on him before he gets rooted, so I'm not worried about him. Um, oh, too bright. Too bright, too bright, too bright. <laughs> It is so funny. But yeah, the lighting is like, all of a sudden it just got darker, which is weird. Um, anyway, nevertheless, collecting is fun, but sometimes it'd be like, I think I think too hard on it. But that's partially because I said, you know, I'm a collector, but then I also sell sometimes. And sometimes, you know, people met, I, well, a lot of times I'll get messages all the time. Like, do you have available babies? Or they'll want the one that I plan to keep. And it's like, should I sell it? <laughs> but yeah, so it's kind of hard to keep that balance. Like, it's like, do I keep it? Do I sell it? I'm just a big time, like collector. Like I want to keep all the babies but then I also like like to sell because sometimes I need to sell um I want there's um about two full body babies that I want to bring into my nurse nursery well to paint I want to I want to paint them I don't know if I'm going to want to keep them but I have at least two that I'm eyeing one I've been eyeing for a long time, and another one I've been eyeing. It I don't think it's out yet, um, and so I I want to be able to paint them. So it's like I gotta sell somebody so I can have money when it come available. Cause y'all know these blank silicone kits do not be uh, necessarily cheap. So I can't just be dropping thousands and not selling anything. So. That's that. Um, what else is happening in my side of the world? Other than the that, I'm really enjoying being able to like at least I have the ability to root my vi my uh, silicone. The vinyl, I am so tempted to attempt to root again a vinyl baby, but I, honestly, it's just. Um, I think it will really trigger my copper tonal in my wrist and stuff. I don't, I don't, I just don't want to do it. <laughs> so I've been slowing down on like painting vinyl. In fact, once I finish up everything that I'm doing, um, the last few kits that I have here, um, I know I'm going to always paint vinyl. I'm always add things. I am actually going to close down on that one, my vinyl workstation. So my reborn workstation, I'm going to just shut it down so I can get that space back in my nursery for babies for display. So I'm going to be um, letting that go. And then when I paint a little vinyl, I'll just like <laughs> paint it in the kitchen or something. <laughs> Like I used to in the old days, I used to paint in my kitchen. I used to stand up in a corner in my kitchen and I would paint and I would put my paints away up in the cabinet. And that's, you know, that was the space I had. So um, right now I have three full tables, like work desks in my nursery. So it's a side of my nursery I usually don't ever show. Um two silicone tables and one vinyl table and usually I work I have like two full bodies and a cuddle head now now that I'm doing cuddle heads I one of the tables will have a cuddle head and a full body on it so I do a lot of stuff behind the scenes but I'm so slow and sometimes I, I feel like I'm not doing enough because I see people like pushing babies out like left and right I'll be like how are they doing that but I guess they're more experienced, they're probably more coordinated, they probably don't have, you know, the attention span that I have, because my attention span is so short, and 
as you guys know, I have five children, two grandchildren, and I'm very active in my children's lives and my grandbabies. And it's so, I have a very busy, busy schedule. But anyway, I know this video is pretty boring. Um, I know I haven't showed Joey in a while. I need to show Joey. I haven't really showed Taraji. I, well, I told, showed Taraji, Taraji not too long ago. But I don't show Joey. I don't show Vegas as much. Phoebe. Phoebe, oh, believe it or not, Phoebe has been in the nursery for the last week or two. She's actually been out here. Um, I actually was going to match her and uh, Jaden in these little jean rompers. I might take pictures of them later of them in that. Uh, but yeah, um, she's been out and I've been like interacting with her again, all over again, like as if she's new. <laughs> so that's the thing, like those, those type babies, like the ones that I know that are forever, ever, like they are embedded in my heart. Like I can go months without interacting with them or doing anything with them and know that I don't want to ever sell them still and that I will eventually pick them up, dress them, and cuddle them for a, a bit or move them into another area so I could see them and be so excited about them as if they're brand new. So those are the ones I know for a fact. It's the ones that when I pick them up and I'm changing them, I'm like annoyed that I got to change them. <laughs> like it's like, uh, eh. or like I don't, like it's like, mm, I need to tell you. I literally just be like, okay, those are the ones that gotta go. Um, I know a lot of people frown on people that like have a revolving door of babies coming and going, but oh well, you know, some of us are keepers and some of us are just people that like to see new babies and have new things and get bored. So, you know, that's my thing. Oh, real quick before I go, these little shoes are so big. They're they're so big on his feet, actually. But they look cute like this. Like, But I could never like take him out with them because they would just fall off. But just for just laying down purposes, they work. And they don't look too big for him like when he's wearing like stuff like this. Um, yeah. So, just wanted to share that. And... I'll see you guys later. If Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram too. Um, a lot of pictures get posted there. And you know sometimes people miss for sale posts on Facebook because of the algorithm. But if you're on my Instagram and you click the follow button. Usually you don't miss out on that. So um, I, I realize a lot of people like follow me but don't follow follow me so um sometime I go private on my Instagram but uh most of the time it's like wide open for anybody to see like I really don't have anything to hide on my my Instagram um sometimes I do it for other reasons but anyway um that is it I will see you guys later bye bye